No, I just got really busy trying to close out this account. I don't want to be here either. What? What? The cleaner just came. I can't hear. Yeah, I'll call you back or something. Just be a second. What's got you working so late? You're yelling because of the headphones. What? Oh, yeah, yeah. I want to head home too. No, headphones. Take out your headphones. Oh, sorry. So, what's got you working so late? I'm just trying to finish this account. What exactly are you working on? It's, it's like really comp complex stuff. It's just hard, oh. to, hard to explain. Okay. The, that isn't necessary. I can... that can wait. Thank you, though. Alright! That's about it. Okay. Have a good night. I'll see you later. Uh, the light? Oh yeah, have a good night too. Careful Chief, safety's off. Fox is entering the goose nest. We got a call about a guy walking out of the library without checking out his book. So we're just waiting here to ambush him. Yeah, I learned this technique hunting a wild boar in Peru. Suspect is a white male, 20 years old, about 6 feet tall, wearing a gray jacket. Yeah, people try to steal library books all the time. They don't count on coming face to face with the campus cops. That's right. Hey, is that him? Yeah, that's him. All you right. go low, I'll go high. Three, all right. two, one. What are you guys doing? What are you doing? Where'd you get that there book? At the library? That's what we thought. You're gonna have to come down to the station. The sooner you confess, the sooner we can all get on with our lives. I didn't do anything. Uh-huh. My partner's running that book through the system right now. You know what the penalty is if you didn't check out that library book? I don't know, ten dollars? Try. $15. Oh, I'm scared. Yeah, keep it up, Mr. Smarties Pants. You'll see what happens. Easton, store checks out. I told you. Are you sure he checked it out from the library? It's library. Library. Yeah, it's got 10 days left on it. <sighs> Damn it. Can you let me go now? You lucked out this time. One of these days, I'm gonna make sure you go down smart aleck like you. You two are insane. Get on out of here. They, uh, they don't actually give us handcuffs, so I had to bring these in from home. Welcome to another episode of Exploring Waterloo. Today we're going to be exploring the Jewel of Kitchener. I'm your host John York and I hope you feel as strongly about this episode as I do. Today we're going to be exploring one of the truly grand attractions of the region. Today we're going to be exploring beautiful what? Okay, we'll just move over a bit. Hello and welcome to another episode of Exploring Waterloo. Today we're going to be exploring beautiful Waterloo Park, which hey guys, contains uh, a trick. Can I see your filming permit, please? Jeez. Oh, Jeez, he's back too. For <laughs> sakes. Just roll the, roll the montage. <laughs> goat right there, just waiting for him to come over here. You may not know this, but most of the milk that we drink is produced by cows. But animals like goats and cats also produce milk. Isn't that utterly surprising? Oh, this must be our host here. Hey y'all, can I help you? He's on his way. Mm, he's not coming, no. So Jebediah, 
Could you please give the viewers at home a bit of an introduction into the sheep milking business and exactly how you go about it? Well, these sheep here, uh, we don't really use them for uh, for milking per se. Just okay. Well, we're we're sponsored by a milk company, so if you could just kind of go along with it, and we need that for our sponsors. So, come on, goat! You're embarrassing me and yourself. One of the main attractions of the Grand River is fishing, so let's see if we can catch us a whopper here. Don't just frickin' stand there, help me! Fuck this, we're skipping the fishing segment. Waterloo Park boasts a scenic railway that runs between Waterloo and St. Hey, Jacobs. what I tell you guys? No permit, no filming. This is the railway, it's not even part of the park. Yes it it's... is, now get off the property before I call the police. Fine. Besides fishing, there are a lot of other activities uh, to do on the- me, sir. Yeah. But it's your fishing license. Oh, I don't need a fishing license. I wasn't fishing. It was. Uh, oh yeah. What's all this gear here for then? I'm making a, a show, uh, exploring Waterloo. Maybe you've heard a of show, it. like uh, like for the TV. Uh, yes, for the TV. Well, I'm supposed to give you a fine anyway, but maybe we can work something out. I'm here with Ranger uh, uh, Smith. Ranger Smith. He's one of the people in charge of the parks in the Waterloo region. Hey, and... hey, Louise. I'm on the I'm on the TV. Yes. Well, uh, you had a message you wanted to share with the viewers, didn't you? Oh, yeah. Don't litter. That's it? Yeah, is that okay? Yeah, no, that's, uh, that's fine. As we've seen today, Waterloo Park hosts a myriad of attractions. It has Silver Lake, it has the miniature zoo, it has the beautiful scenic river. Run, run, run! Interception. Contraception is like birth control. Yeah, well, I saw the past from being born, so who's this bozo? Graham, Brad, Brad, Graham. Nice to meet you. Think you're a big football playing guy? I just know. Think you're better friends with Lee than me because you're a big football playing guy? You, me, football off right now. What? You don't have a football What's a football off? off? You versus me, longer throw wins. Scared? No. no. Go. You go first. Ladies first. I'm not a lady. Not bad. Go get it. I'll get, I'll get it, I'll get it. Yeah, it's pretty good. I, li I like your pink shirt. Yeah, well, pink is the color of champions, so. It's not true. Yeah, it is. Think about uh, any 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 pink team that won championship, so. I, logic. What are you talking about? Pass me a horse skin. What's the logic? It's a pig skin, A. Uh, pigs have pink skin, ass. Watch it. Okay, so I'm just gonna take you through some of the phone calls I got today. Two of your officers are doing a play or something and disrupting my class. One of your officers is waving around a gun. One of your officers is dressed like a homeless person going through trash. One of your officers is doing something with a toilet. Oh, okay, well, this one's a good one. One of your officers was very helpful in breaking up a fight. Oh, I think that must have been Rodney, Chief. You guys spent all day on this pen thing. I called down to the campus bookstore. They said they got a shipment of the wrong colored pens. They decided to sell them at a discount. Boom! There you go. Mystery solved. 30 seconds. And how many times do I have to tell you guys, you can't carry around guns on campus? No more guns! You have one on you right now, don't you? Give it here. Careful, Chief. Safety's off. Anything else you guys want to tell me? I learned how to fix the toilet. All right, dismissed.
Whoa, Lee, sorry to interrupt. Did not realize you had a hot date over tonight. What date number is this for you guys? This is our third. Ooh, big third date. Know what that means. Sex. What is that? Why don't you go uh, into your room? No, I'm good here with you guys. So, you were thinking you were going to get laid? No, no, I didn't say that. He <laughs> did say that. He said to me, quote, big third date tonight, definitely going to get some action, at least a hand. No, 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 I, didn't that. That's that's exactly no I didn't say that. No, I didn't say that. Yep. That's a I mean, I would, that's obviously, if you wanted quote. to, but I did not. Relax, I don't care. Really? Now, you're all here today because you wanted to learn about gun safety. Since this is a beginner level course, we're not going to be using real guns, obviously. We're going to be using replicas. Now, the first thing I want you guys to do is I want you to show me how you hold the gun. And remember to treat these just like real guns. And rule number one with a gun, never point it at a person. Pretty good, pretty good. One of, the, one of the errors that I'm seeing from a lot of you is that you're pointing the barrel of the gun at the floor. Yes? Uh, which end is the barrel? Good question. The barrel is the end of the gun that the bullets come out of. No, I meant like on the banana. Now rule number two is that you don't want to rest with your hand on the, uh, you know, the thing. The trigger? The trigger, exactly right. Uh, yeah, my gun doesn't have a trigger. Now who can tell me how to turn on the safety on their gun? You again, yes. Well, I know on a real gun, it's just a little switch you flick, but I, I don't know how to do it on a banana. Okay, well, I, I need to see you do it before, before I can pass you. Do, do you know how to do it? Uh, okay. Anybody else? Anybody can show him how to do it properly. You there. Perfect. Great work. Now the next thing that we're going to talk about. Yes, you again. Are there any differences in the safety on a gun that uses a magazine versus a revolver? A good question for once. Let's suppose that this yellow banana I have here is a gun that has a magazine and this green one is a revolver. Who can tell me what the difference between the two would be? You in the back. The green one wouldn't be as soft? Exactly right. Great work. I'm sorry, how does that translate to an actual gun? Now, the next thing that you're going to want to remember is, are you eating your gun? Number 154. What? Hey, I wanted to make my pet an organ donor. Okay, I'll see if that's possible. What kind of pet is it? It's a cat. Okay. Age? Seven. Name? Uh, Hector Rodriguez. Okay, and what type of cat is it? It's a tabby. Mm -hmm. And lastly, I need its blood type. It's a... Meow negative. It's O negative. O negative. Okay, your cat is now registered to be an organ donor. Oh, that's great. Thanks a lot. Here you go. Meow. Number 155.